it. Definitely. I mean, it's 2018, so I don't even think it should be connected to your sexuality at all. Right. Because I'm married to a man, right. and I feel like I'm ready to cut my hair off every other day, too. Right. It just gets to a point where it's just too much, and you want to do something different, and if that's how you choose to express yourself, again, it's 2018. Right. Let's do it. Yeah, and I'm all for doing whatever you need to do to feel comfortable in your body. And the fact that she said that she was hanging on to her hair because... You know, she wanted to seem more softer. Mm. You don't have to. You right. know, if you want to cut your hair off and just like forget what other people think about you, it's all about how you feel. And it's, as long as she's confident, right. which she is. And yeah. this, it's a broader discussion, but especially in the LGBT community, the identity is a masculinity, femininity. Mm. That's, yeah. a, that's a real struggle that happens in our communities that go on. And we often hold on to certain things to try and represent ourselves in certain ways, like right. you're saying. But that shouldn't be the case. You are who you are. It doesn't matter what you're your haircut is, it doesn't matter what clothes you are, be your true self and other people will respect and, and then, appreciate that. Yep. And then it's also an interesting conversation as a black woman as well because, right. you know, we're so attached to our hair. I think every woman is yeah. attached to our hair, but <laughs> as a black woman, like, it's a, a thing to fit in because yeah. our hair typically doesn't look like what the European beauty standard right. of beauty right. is. So that's like another thing that yeah. she's kind of just busting out the box. Right. Yeah, yeah, cutting it all off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm just God. kind of confused about this story. So, like, why why are they mad that she I'm confused. Well, so, okay, so I think there's an <laughs> so argument. There's, two, a, there's uh, two things. You're right. Yeah, it's two things. So she herself, as a as a person, is part of the LGBTQ community. Right. So right. now they're saying and she's her not character, lesbian. Her character in the show, in the movie she's about to play in, is going to be, uh, her character is a lesbian. Right. Okay. So people are mad about two things. Right. Okay. Yeah, they were upset. They were, and there is a discussion that goes on in Hollywood about, you know, you have a lot of gay characters in shows, and why can't they be played by gay actors? There's plenty of gay actors and actresses out there. Don't give those roles to straight people. But she's saying, look, I've been out since I was 12. Yeah. Just because I don't identify necessarily as a lesbian and I'm gender fluid, she's part of that community. Oh, I get it here. Yeah. I and, get it. She but, likes males and females. Right. Oh, yeah, and, she, yeah, and, she, and, and, and they're like, you're not lesbian. Okay. Yeah. Now you're all caught up. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's, but you're She's right. Fluid. At the end of the day, aren't we aren't fluid. we all a little are we all a little too sensitive? And why yeah. attack her for this? What's we should this be celebrating is insane. this? Insane. The fact that I mean, I think social media has made everyone super sensitive these days. But the fact that people are freaking out over this story and yeah. her saying that she's the first lesbian. Uh, Batwoman, like, mm -hmm. come on, get over it and be happy for her. Yeah, yes. just be happy for her. I gotta say, the one thing that I'm, I guess I'm, I shouldn't be disappointed because everyone, you know, when you get attacked on Twitter, it hurts. I mean, people like to say it doesn't, and when you got a lot of followers, I imagine that's magnified. It's horrible. But at the same time, <laughs> I, I hope that she can come back to it because she is a voice for the community that she can find a way back onto social media so she can continue to fight and be someone that is seen and out there and proud and kind of takes it. You know what I mean? She'll be back because her career also has a lot to do with social media. Yes. Cardi B deleted her account. She came back. Mm -hmm. So many people do. You right. Know? Yeah. I yeah. go off Facebook for like a couple weeks at a time and I always keep calling. <laughs> I, I, it's so hard in our career. I would love to take a hiatus. But yeah, but we you have can't. to stay up to date with what's going on exactly. in media and news and politics in the world. At and the end exactly. of the day, if anyone's out there and you guys are trolls on Twitter to any celebrity, anyone. Leave us alone. Le leave everybody <laughs> alone. Let people do their own things and just. Sure, leave us alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's like, okay. leave me alone. Exactly. Like, Get out of my You're talking class. to someone specific? Okay. All of the trolls. <laughs> Here are some habits that, look, they seem innocent, but they can lead to really serious Ugh. relationship trouble, especially like right at the beginning of the relationship. So here they are. So you kind of assume what your partner or the other person wants. So okay. you think that you know what they want and you act accordingly. If you're making comparisons to like previous relationships, because people do that right off the bat, or if you post on social media, speaking of social media, a lot about your relationship, that seems innocent, right? But that could lead Don't problems. Do this is an interesting you one. You stay in contact during working hours. So like you're in contact all day long. Seems innocent enough, right? But that it's might lead to some problems. Much. Yeah. It it's like you much. don't it, all of it just seems too serious too soon. Like that's what you don't want to yes. be. Like don't be too familiar. You have to have a, a, a chance to give the relationship a chance to resolve, right. to re evolve, excuse me. What do you think about the social media one? Cuz that's interesting. What was the social media one? That you post too, too much. Soon. Oh yeah, well no, the thing too is uh, when people post 
So what I got from it is just posting about relationships in general, like, oh, one day you'll be happier, uh, okay. this and that. And I, oh my God, that's just too much to me. It's definitely a red flag. I, and yeah. communicating all day at work, right? no way. But there is a honeymoon stage where maybe you're in love, maybe you talk a lot. That's true, Charmaine. Maybe you mm -hmm. saw a meme that reminded you of him, so you posted it. But after like the first three months, girl, relax. Yeah, <laughs> I think there's a way to celebrate being in a new relationship without getting too excited too early. And it's that's the thing. Relax. I know, because we always set up these giant expectations right off the bat. We're all hopeful in new yeah. relationships. Relationships. Maybe we've been hurt in the past. We want to change. So I think the it's good intentions, but it can either a scare away the other person or kind of steps the game up way too much, yeah. way too early. Absolutely. Wait, we got some more. Yeah, got some other ones we got to dive into. If you try and solve their problem, mm -mm, let uh -oh. them do it themselves, right? And you talk about yourself too much. This is the one clearly I'm a little guilty of. I I'm the remember. only child. John, <laughs> really? What's going on, you guys? You're I'm always. Kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know if I talk about myself too much. Well, I I just need to remind myself because I just talk anyways, no matter what. I need to remind myself to uh, you know ask some questions and make sure I'm engaged. Uh, and the other one is that you talk about the future too soon. And oh, this Lord. one is a big one. You do not want to like scare away that other person. But more importantly. That's me. Yeah, yeah I really? mean, isn't it natural though when you date someone and you're like, oh well, I could see be myself Girl, being with him forever. That's a total woman thing. Yeah, women do this. All women I know do what this our kids are gonna look like. But all women, early. No, listen. I mean, no, no, no. you can't even date him if you can't see him. Yeah, that's in what I'm saying. Future. All women do. I think it's something that's ingrained in us. Mm -hmm. We even it, we, we may not act on it, but we think like, could this be a potential partner? Mm -hmm. Could I have children? Could I be married mm -hmm. to this person? Is all, he cute enough for my baby? All women <laughs> do that. Yeah, all women do that. I just say pump it's the so brakes, good. do it in due time, all right?